We have a very interesting character. His name is Steve Matchett. I won't be pushed, filed, stamped, briefed, debriefed, indexed, or numbered. My life is my own. Be seeing you. Steve has been helping us throughout the past year, creating some content where we put him into work on talking about cars with Marcel and myself. And there is some cool stuff that is coming forward. We have been working, obviously, it started with his 1942 Ford GPW, and we found there was something interesting about it, okay? Even though that I'm not into American vehicles, we wanted to only talk about Europeans. And then we saw that Steve actually was bringing it to life. Hey, by the way, Steve, oh, yes. no, no. how was our dinner last night? Our dinner last night at the Capitol Grill was outstanding. But when we decided to go to the Capitol Grill, yes. we all said, independently, we've never had a bad meal at the Capitol Grill. Correct, we did. And it was another wonderful success. I'm going to have breakfast. Rejoin me in a few minutes. I don't want to take your time up while I'm munching on my egg. See you soon. So when you take a nerd, okay, what I call the nerd, my nerd, I mean, it's the auction boy. It's Marcel Diaz. The reason why I say that is because, and you walk into an auction house, okay, and then you go and look at cars. And I have to tell you, I go there, from now on, I go there first, and I have Marcel come afterwards because he ruins the experience. And instead of looking at the car, the first thing he does, he knees down. And I say, oh, maybe he's just bowing down to it and, and being, I don't know, all grateful. No, this idiot is looking at the tires. He says, they're doing this wrong. They put the wrong set of tires on it or they're too old. And he just ruins the whole experience. So when you're coming down to how do you put a Steve Matchett and a Marcel and they both try and talk together about a project, it's, you wonder. But apparently it works. It's pretty good. Marcel, it was you all the time. Wait a second, uh, why, why, why did you resign? I resigned because for a very long time now. Steve, wait, wait a second, just show us your Jeep. Oh. I, I don't, we don't care. There are episodes you're going to find out and there maybe has been some flashes we've put through social media and YouTube that you have seen them come together and do their little weird stuff. It turns out to be comical and funny and actually what we're looking for, we want it to be comical. In my 30,000 square foot heated and climate controlled Ferrari, Porsche, exactly. storage facility. He's fucked. Cyrus, don't be rude. That oil, Marcel, is so rare and precious, we can't afford to, to put it in the past. Look at me, everybody. I pray for Argentina. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, done. Right, all right. We're, our contract is over. Get in the plane and take me away. Although there was a little problem. Steve is in retirement. So we're battling the fact of taking him out of retirement. And it's like, he's a little grumpy. You know, he's a little, little grumpy guy. And we have to get him out of his retirement. So there's a lot coming up. So in the months to come, we have, we're working on a few episodes that we're actually trying to create some pilots and see where it goes from there. So stay tuned and there's more to come. Thank you for showing me. Yes, Sorry right. to stop you from your flight. <laughs>